This video is brought to you by Artlist. You can get 10% off your film developing and scanning at my go-to film lab, Speedy ePhoto, now through January 15th. Just mention my name at checkout, and if you're mailing film in, there's instructions in the description on how to receive the discount. It seems as though Ilford was feeling the pressure from Kodak's release of Gold 200 and 120 because they've decided to make a similar maneuver of their own. They just announced that they are releasing their 35 millimeter film stock Kentmere Pan in 120. It'll be available in the 100 speed and the 400 speed. And although I'm not much of a black and white shooter, this is just good news for every film photographer as we have another film company expanding their product lineup. And although it's not a brand new film stock, it is a film stock that's available in a new format. And that's a good sign because that means that they have just cause to expand that lineup. So Alicia and I are gonna walk around Tacoma today and shoot the new Kentmere Pan 100 and 400 through some different medium format film cameras. They were kind enough to send me a few rolls. They didn't tell me to make a video or anything. I don't have to make a video. There's no partnership or affiliation with Ilford. They just sent me some rolls, so we're gonna test it out today, give you guys some example images, and uh, give you a glimpse as to what Kentmere Pan 100 and 400 is all about in medium format. Alicia and I shot Kentmere 100 first. She was using her Yashica Mat 124G and I was using my Bronica SQ with the 65mm lens. Mm. Also, all of the images you'll see in this video are completely unedited and exactly the way I received them from the lab except for the occasional crop or straightening. I think the built-in light meter on the Bronica tends to overexpose images a bit. On this frame, it was telling me to shoot at 1 15th of a second, and against better judgment, I decided to give it a try, which clearly resulted in a not-so-sharp image. It also looks like Alicia's Yashica mat might have a pressure plate issue or something because there's quite a few images where it appears as though the film wasn't perfectly flat. There's uneven focus points throughout many of the frames. Ready, one, two, three. So I mentioned I don't shoot a lot of black and white film and it's not because I don't like black and white photography, I actually love it. I just tend to shoot a lot of landscapes and for me I like color in my landscapes which is why I lead, lean towards color film but I think black and white's really well suited for everyday use walking around if you're just taking casual photos and also particularly portraits. Whenever I shoot portraits, which I don't that often, um, I really like to add some black and white into that workflow because there's something that black and white delivers when you shoot photos of people that I don't think color can quite match. So I think for black and white photographers, uh, Kentmere 100 and 400 is going to be a nice addition to the lineup because it's kind of a consumer budget friendly film if it's priced anywhere in the realm that it's priced at for 35 mil, which is like six bucks a roll. I don't know what they're going to price uh, Kentmere in 120 at, but it seems as though they're kind of taking that Kodak Gold approach, um, a nice budget-friendly film in a world where film prices are getting a little bit out of hand. So I think a lot of people will find Kentmere a good addition to their film stock lineup. Alicia and I finished both our rolls of Kentmere 100 and headed inside where I loaded up the first roll of Kentmere 400. I wanted to take some photos of Alicia indoors using the natural light from the window and I really like the way these turned out. Murph started jumping in for some photos as well so I ended up blowing pretty much the entire first roll of 400 on Alicia's cat. All of these were shot at box speed using the camera's built-in light meter. That was the one we were looking for, the last frame. Now I'm gonna actually shoot the last roll that I have, the final roll of 
Kentmere 400. Outside, gonna walk around, shoot it outdoors a little bit. I shoot in aperture priority mode on the Pentax most of the time, and I had my aperture set to f8 when this moment was happening. I forgot to glance at the shutter speed when I shot this, and sure enough, the camera fired at 1 30th of a second, which is why there's some motion blur occurring on this one. I was actually curious, feel free to say no, but would you mind if I grabbed a photo of you and your dog just right there? Cool, thank you. Getting a photo of this 21st Street Bridge sign. This is one of my favorite areas in Tacoma. Just a few little shots, but it's got one of our favorite bars in the whole city, good old Magoo's. But I think this sign is pretty cool and kind of split the image down the middle. Hey. Hello, my friend. Um, I was just curious. I love you sitting there on your phone like that. I'm a photographer. I was wondering if I could take your photo through the window of your shop. Okay. Just from outside there. Okay. And. Uh, I'm happy to send it to you too once I'm once okay, I'm done. Okay. Would that be okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can just go back to doing what you were doing. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay, thanks. <laughs> I've realized I'm not much of a technical analyst when it comes to breaking down different elements of photography, but I do want to share some final thoughts on Kentmere 100 and 400 in 120. And overall, I like the stock. I like the stock. I don't shoot a lot of black and white, as I mentioned, but when I do, I like the more contrasty, punchy, gritty look, and Kentmere 400 in particular delivers that straight out of the camera. I also really like the flexibility of 400 speed film, and I'm not too concerned with imperfections or anything like that, so I can safely say that if Kentmere 400 comes out at a similar price point, as it is in 35 mil, which is about $5 or $5.50 a roll, it'll probably become my new go-to black and white film stock. I didn't edit any of the photos you saw in the video, but it seems like there's a good amount of latitude in these stocks. There's a lot of information available in the scans. I like the texture, I like the grain. There's a lot to like about Kentmere 100 and 400, and there's even more to like if they price it at a good price point. I don't know what it's gonna be priced at, but if you're watching this video right now, that means you can go and look at the price, and I'm telling you, if it's less than $35 for five rolls of these suckers, I will hop on Instagram and shotgun two beers back to back in celebration. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that walk around Tacoma today, shooting some Kentmere 100 and 400. Yeah, new film stock for medium format. It's exciting, it's cool. Um, things are happening in the film world, which is good news, all right? Hope everybody is having fun, staying safe out there, and I will catch you next time. Peace. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video today. I briefly want to thank Artlist for supporting my work and sponsoring this video. All of the music you heard in this video was found on Artlist. For a while, I struggled to find royalty-free music that was actually of high quality, and I'm super glad I ended up finding Artlist because their catalog of thousands of songs is easy to browse through, and their single license ensures I can use the music I download for any application. Whether you need music for a YouTube video, commercial, wedding video, podcast, or social media, Artlist's single license covers it all. They also recently introduced just a social media plan. If you're looking to save a little bit of money and only need music for your social media content, you can go that route as well. The library of music is constantly being updated to ensure there's always a wide variety of fantastic songs available. Check out the link in the description to sign up for Artlist today. You'll get an extra two months for free. Zilford was kind enough to send me a few uh, pre pre-rolls. Thank you for that.
We smoking the Milford pre-rolls. Oh my God. <laughs> Milford pre-rolls. That's what they should be making. 